He's a wily old veteran, but he still might be a little wet behind the ears. Hunter, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Doing great. We appreciate your time. No problem. A beautiful day. You've been playing on the PGA Tour since you were the age of the kids that we can hear in the background over there. <laughs> You're like a wily old veteran now, aren't you? I, I tell you, time has totally flown by. It seems like just yesterday I was just trying to get my car through Q school. Not too many guys in their 20s are fully vested for retirement in any line of work. Yeah. You've been vested for two years now. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, been a great ride. You know, I, I this is kind of living my dream here. I knew I could, I knew I felt like I was good enough to be on the PJ Tour and, and win tournaments, but this has been far exceeded my expectations. We're seeing guys come out now a lot more prepared than perhaps 10 years ago even yeah. uh, with the Ricky Fowlers and you know the, this group of young kids, Rory McIlroy, but you were really at the head of that, yeah. right out of college, what was living up to those expectations like? Um, well, it wasn't easy. When I first came on a tour, it was definitely a learning experience. I mean, you realize how good these guys are, and, and you realize what it takes to play four good rounds of golf, and what it takes to put together a season. You know, it's not just a tournament, it's a season. And um, it took a little while for me to learn that stuff. and. Uh, once I learned it, I figured a lot out by myself. But you learned it out here. Where, Absolutely, yeah. Where a guy like Ricky Barnes, you know, spends six or seven years playing the Nationwide Tour. Yeah. And then comes out on PGA Tour and has success when he does. Yeah. How were you able to stay out here? Um, just patience, kind of grinding it out, um, forgetting the past, trying to move on. I mean, it was definitely tough. I mean, definitely didn't have a great rookie year, and I, I rallied late and had a good run. But um, definitely a lot of learning curves, you know, it definitely wasn't easy. What's been the highlight so far? Probably playing the Ryder Cup. Really? I mean, over winning? Um, winning was great, but the Ryder Cup, I mean, it just seemed to last all week. It was just, you know, it's 30 guys win a year, but, you know, 12 guys go to the Ryder Cup. And to be able to win it in our home country and in the style we did, and it was, um, it was all that I could dream of and more. When you look at where you're going from here, what are the goals? Where, where, where? I mean, obviously you want to win. You want to, yeah. you want to have a Hall of Fame career, and yeah. you're, you're in, pretty good stead right now in that, yeah. in that regard. Um, you know, you want to win. I mean, great players are totally looked at from their victories. So, I want to win. I want to contend in majors. You know, I mean, the great players play well in majors. I mean, it's just a fact. So, um, if I want to be a great player, I'm gonna play well in majors. But uh, lucky for me, I enjoy playing the majors. They're my favorite tournaments of the year. The final question is a little unfair to a guy, who never uh -oh. had to think about it. Uh -oh. What would you be doing if you weren't a PGA Tour player? That's tough. Something in sports. I love sports. Um, I love talking about sports. I could do it all day long. Um, you know. In 25 years, you can have my job. Perfect. I'll do that. It doesn't pay very well, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. But it's better than staying at home, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Thanks, Hunter. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good stuff.